Yo, what's going on, True Fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's White Shadow, and today, guys, we got yet another awesome USB microphone shootout for you guys. So uh, let's jump into it. Okay, so today, guys, we're going to be pitting the Editor's Keys SL150 USB condenser microphone against the Bear Dynamic Fox USB microphone. This is the new guy on the market, so we're going to pit all of these awesome USB microphones, some of the top in the game right now, against the Fox to see how it stacks up and to see which one is worthy of your money. As always, we're going to start with the Studio Series, and then we're going to move over to the Bear Dynamic Fox. All of the audio right now is being recorded off of the SL150. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into the similarities of these two microphones and then we'll get into the differences in just a second. So some similarities about these two microphones are they are both large diaphragm condenser style microphones. They both have a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. It's a nice fat frequency range that's most majority of what you're gonna see on a condenser microphone. And uh, both of these are fantastic at hitting those nice high notes and low notes. So really, really sweet microphones here. They've got a lot of similarities, but honestly, only other similarity is that they are both USB. That's about where it ends. So let's go ahead and talk about like what the differences between the two are, starting with the SL150 here. So the SL150 is kind of a bare bones condenser microphone. This is modeled after much what you would buy if you were buying an XLR setup doesn't have any controls, no gain switch, no headphone monitoring, nothing of that sort. The only thing you get is a solidly built microphone with a nice condenser capsule underneath the grill. It also has a light, like a nice little blue LED light on the top to kind of tell you that it's on. But other than that, you don't really get anything else besides a sweet carrying case right here, nice hard case. It comes with the shock mount and doesn't come with a stand. And it co also comes with this nice long USB cable that you see kind of spread out across the table here. It's got a 16 bit 48,000 Hertz resolution, much like the Yeti does. And that's a about where it ends with this microphone. It's kind of bare bones, it's plug and play, no drivers needed, and you just start recording or streaming with it. On the flip side, we have the Fox. So the Fox has all of the controls that we talked about in the last video. It's got the mute button, headphone monitoring, volume knob, the mixing knob for the headphone so you can hear everything. It's got a gain switch around back, low and high. It comes with a pop filter comes with a semi-short USB-C cable. I do wish it was a little bit longer. Like the one over here is probably about 10 foot long with the SL150. This one's only about three foot long. I do have to use a USB extender on the Fox. It's not really that big of a deal if you have an extender laying around, but it is kind of a con and a big difference between the two. And then you also get some other freaking sweet stuff with this mic. So the resolution is really high. You get 24 bit 96,000 Hertz with 130 decibels of dynamic range. I don't know the dynamic range of the SL150, but I do know for a fact it is lower. That's about where the difference is in. They are both USB, they're both built great, and they're fantastic microphones and Honestly, they're worthy of being pit against each other. So let's go ahead and talk, switch over to the Fox and just kind of talk about what I really enjoy about both of these microphones and what, like, what it is to use them. And you're also gonna kind of get a feel for the differences between the tonality of the two. So let's check out the Fox real quick. All right, so we have indeed switched over to the Bear Dynamic Fox. Immediately, you're gonna kind of tell a difference between the two tonality-wise, but Let's go ahead and talk about what I love about both of these microphones, and I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to tell me which one wins this shootout in the comment section below. So starting with the SL150, kind of been the theme the whole way through, this is a fantastic microphone for all of you guys out there that are really wanting bare bones. You don't like messing with all of the settings. You don't need a mute button. You have OBS to do all of that stuff. You just want to plug, play, get everything going, tweak the gain, tweak all your settings right there in the software, and boom, you're, you're going. This microphone has a very high quality condenser style capsule inside. It's got great rear ejection. In my opinion, it's just a good value because of what you get with it. You get the shock mount, you get the case, you get a nice long USB cable, and it's just got great build quality. The attention to detail that uh, Editor's Keys has kind of put together here is fantastic. You kind of get this nice presentation when you open up the box. It's just a good quality microphone and it sounds very, very well. I've used it on stream. I've used it on some of the videos that you've watched right here on YouTube. It's just a great 
sounding microphone that deserves to be in any sort of studio. And that's it it's only does one thing. It doesn't have a mute button. It doesn't have a gain switch. It doesn't have any of that stuff. It's bare bones. It's plug and play. It's easy and simple to use, which is what a lot of starters out there look for. You look for something that's easy to set up. It tells you in the manual how to set your gain, what to set it to, and boom, you're recording, you're streaming, you're doing all of the stuff that you like to do as a content creator or a streamer. On the flip side, you have something a little bit more technical over here with the Bayer Dynamic Fox. It's a little bit more advanced, but it has a great sound to it. This is super new to the market as well, so it's got a little bit more hype behind it, I think. But these two microphones are very similar in a certain aspect, and that's the sound. Bear Dynamic Fox is no slouch when it comes to sound. You've got a high quality capsule over here, better rear ejection than even the Studio Series, better rear ejection than a lot of the USB condenser style microphones that I have dealt with. This one is a little bit more of a complete package, in my opinion, uh, just from my use, and I, I it's easy to plug and play. Just just like this one is downfall of the bear dynamic fox is this usb cable man i wish like i had to use this extender every single time i was recording every single time i streamed with it it was i i can't stand short usb cables bear dynamic please put a longer cable inside the box next time it's great quality cable usb type c is awesome the resolution is awesome here but just give us a longer cable for the price we're paying over the sl 150 and they give you all of this added bonus to it you got you got to give us something longer here overall package of both of these microphones is great if you're a starter looking to upgrade and this has kind of been the theme with the fox and the theme with the studio series here these are amazing these are ama like i'm almost at a loss of words how good these microphones are we're going into that digital age where everything is usb powered everything is being plug and play with usb you don't need the drivers you don't need an interface you have everything right here you have the software to handle a bunch of the stuff for you two great options especially for those of you that don't have a lot of space you got some very good quality sounding options but i'm going to leave it up to you guys to tell you tell me in the comment section below which one of these mics sounds better and which one would you guys pick up today, tomorrow, whenever, if you're looking to upgrade. But guys, that about does it for this video. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you did not like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs down and uh, just leave a comment in the comment section below telling me which one of these microphones wins and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out. Super appreciate you guys so very much for doing so. If you guys want to follow me and catch up with all of the tech that I get to play with on a daily basis, come hang out with me on stream. That'll be down there. You can also check me out on social media. That's all down there as well. Be sure to check out True Gaming as well because they are amazing, amazing, amazing for allowing me to do this. And... You can follow them on all of their social media. Come and hang out with us on Discord. I would love to see your beautiful faces there. But guys, that about wraps it up for this video. I'll see you in the next one for some more shootouts. Why Shadow out. Wow.